Thank you, Connor. And that's right, Johnny Quinn is no stranger to the Olympic process and the intense training that comes along with it. So first, I want to say thank you so much for being on the show today. Grant, thanks for having me. Of I'm course. excited to be here. Of course. So when the news was first released that the 2020 uh, Tokyo Olympics were going to be postponed, mm -hmm. what was your reaction to that? Yeah, disappointment, right? I think there was a lot of disappointment with last year. And it's so interesting because you spend four years training for an Olympic game. So, you know, the athletes getting ready for 2020, I mean, they had this marked on their calendar. And when things began to shut down last March, and when they finally pulled the plug on the 2020 Olympics, a lot of people had to rethink their schedule. And uh, so as an athlete, you, you know, you're getting ready for the Olympic Games and then it gets taken away. Um, tough, it had to be very tough for the current athletes getting ready. Yeah, most definitely. Um, so whenever you were training for those 2014 Sochi Olympics, what were the last 100 days? Because I know we're 100 days away from the Tokyo one, finally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what were those last 100 days like for you personally? Yeah, 100 days out, very uh, stressful, right? Very intense. Um, we, we were on our World Cup circuit competing um, in Europe. So we were in Austria, Switzerland, Germany, Italy, bobsledding and accumulating points to qualify for the Olympics. And so, you know, you've got these goals along the way that you're trying to achieve to make the Olympic team. And then you've got to, you've got to score enough points to get sleds into the game. So a lot of things are going on. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but Olympic sports in the United States are self-funded. And so, you know, you're, you're trying to find ways to finance your career so that you can continue to bobsled while you're, you know, traveling in Europe to compete. So there's a lot of moving pieces. As we got closer to the Olympic Games, it was so interesting in that we kind of got tunnel, tunnel vision, and that's the only thing you could think about. Right, it, it, yeah. it's, it's, we've waited four years for this moment since the last Olympic Games, and we're almost here. So there's this anticipation uh, brewing. Yeah, so whenever you were actually competing in those games, did you feel the intense pressure while you were actually competing, or did you still have that, that tunnel vision mindset? Yeah, so what's interesting is when you walk in opening ceremonies and you hear them say, that, you know, the United States of America, and you're wearing the red, white, and blue, and you're there with your teammates and your friends, I mean, Grant, the adrenaline is out of the roof. I mean, it is incredible, right? Incredible. Well, the Olympics happen over 17 days. And we get the schedule, when's the bobsled race? Day 16. And so we had to, you, we had to kind of calm it down a little bit, <laughs> yeah. right? And, and uh, uh, you know, take a breather. It gave us a chance to go to support other Team USA athletes, watch them win their medals. And Grant, what happened is it, it added fuel to the fire because as you're getting ready for your time on Olympic ice, everything that you have worked for is about to come true, right? So there's this excitement, there's this um, adrenaline, and there's this kind of relief that we're here and it's coming. And as a competitor, I mean, you are just kind of licking at the chops to get to the start block and get out there and get after it for Team USA. So. Uh, I remember at the games, you're, you're enjoying uh, the Olympics. It's an incredible experience. It's an incredible um, uh, venue, but you have that tunnel focus, that tunnel vision that you are ready for race day. Yeah, most definitely. And so these Olympics are just so close to their goal, finally. Um, what would you to say to maybe a student that's sitting in their math class or their science class that's watching this right now and they feel like their dreams are so far away? Yeah, yeah. You know, he, here's what's so interesting is when I sat in your shoes, and I, I went to high school, you know, 10 miles away from here at McKinney High, um, I never thought I would be an Olympic bobsledder, right? I, I played football, and I thought I was going to go to the National Football League. But what I realized is that when things get tough, and you're in the messy middle, right, where, where you're frustrated, confused, anxious, whatever it may be, I need you to understand that there's a reward at the end that is so much greater than the struggle through the process. And I gotta tell you, when, when, when you know, competing in the Olympics, coming back to Dallas, Texas, um, it, it truly opened up doors that, um, that, that have been remarkable. And so I think if, if you're sitting here today and you've got these dreams that they feel like they're on the back burner, let me just give you some encouragement to keep going after that, to keep fighting for your dream. Every dream is important and you need to keep fighting for it. 
Yeah, well, thank you so much for all the encouragement and that insight into what those last 100 days are like. Thank you so much for joining us today. Back to you guys.